Hi guys, Assalamualaikum and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Arina and I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I'll be testing out some new new products from Pink Flash. It's not a full face, it's just few items. I've got their new shades from their existing blusher. I've got new face powder, an eyebrow pencil and also a mascara. I'll be testing them out with you guys today. So if you're interested to know my thoughts and how they perform, just keep on watching. So I zoom you guys in because we're going to start with the brows first. So this is how the packaging looks like. If you are familiar with Pink Flash, they have this similar pinkish, like a soft pink shade on their packaging with the Pink Flash name on here. And also the ingredients, the information, the shades and everything like that is actually on the plastic string. So the shade that I have with me is 04 Natural Grey. I believe it's their darkest shade from the collection. This is the only shade that is not warm tone because I prefer my eyebrow product to be sort of cool tone. Thankfully, there's the shade at the back. Yeah, that's good to know. So this product, it is a double-ended pencil. One is the product itself and the other end is a spoolie. And the spoolie feels nice. It's not uh, pokey or stiff. So this is what the pencil looks like. It's actually a triangular shade but it is a bit rounded at the bottom and it's thick. For me, I prefer a, more, a very thin pencil, but we will test out. So I just read the claims from the website. It says that this pencil is waterproof, easy to remove by only using a makeup wipe, that it is soft and will last about eight hours. So this product just comes in four different shades and the only cool tone uh, shade is the one that I have with me, which is natural grey. The other shades are more on the warmer side and I'm gonna swatch this shade at the back of my hand first before I apply it uh, on my eyebrows. Okay, it feels nice. It is not too slippery or slidey, which is nice. I prefer this type of consistency. It's actually not creamy or slippery like I said. From the website, it claims to be soft. It's actually not as soft where it is too um, emollient, if you know what I mean. I also have their previous eyebrow pencil, which is this one, a wooden pencil. This pencil is okay. It has almost similar consistency, but I don't use this color. Actually, I got this for free. This color is too warm for my liking, this shade here, but it's softer than the newer version, so it depends on your preference. But for this one, you get a pointy tip if you sharpen the pencil. For this one, it's a triangular tip. We'll see how it applies on the eyebrow. Hopefully, it is uh, very easy to apply. So, let's start with this side. So, it's, it's very easy to apply. The shade is actually really nice. It complements my eyebrow hairs. And it doesn't look waxy or shiny. So, this is how the shade looks like. And I'm gonna do like full eyebrow hair at the front. I think over time, it will not be as pointy as uh, it is now. So I am going to use this spoolie and just brush this eyebrow, uh, this product. So that at the front, it looks a bit more faded or ombre looking. I will continue with concealing the extra brow hairs and also clean up some areas and I'll be right back. Okay, this is how my eyebrows is looking after I apply concealer and also clean the edges. Okay guys, uh, now we're going to test out the powder itself. So this is how the packaging looks like. And the front is like this. They have two versions. It's like a special version and a normal version. I think the special one is because it is printed with heart shaped eyes and also pink flash logo like this. So this is the special version. The normal version will only have like a clear window at the front. And I did only pick up one shade. I believe they have three different shades. This one is supposed to be translucent and the other two are like tinted and caters to those who have dark skin but not deep skin because they don't really go that deep. And this is how the powder looks like. Inside they have the Pink Flash logo as usual, embossed and let's watch it. It feels nice. So this is how the powder looks like. It's white and hopefully it translates 
translucent okay that is how it's looking okay i did just set my face because i forgot to i have to test out this powder but i'm just gonna set on my pore area here uh, on my nose and also my pore area here is the area where it tends to be more oily than the other so i'm gonna pick up with this brush so it does pick up quite nicely with a brush and i'm gonna just set this area here and also under the eyes but in future video i will test this powder again because like I said, I accidentally set my face with uh, other pink flash powder, the loose one. So yeah, it has a slight white cast. It's not 100% translucent because as I apply it on my face, I can see a color difference between my skin tone and also this powder. But I feel like if you spray your face with a setting spray, it will melt or mesh with your skin tone if you know what I mean I'm also gonna set my chin area here and we'll see how this powder feels nice on first impression I feel like you can use this powder as a finishing powder just to like blend everything together so that everything mesh together so yeah so far so good uh, like I said I will be testing this powder again in future Next is blusher. So I have two shades with me. These are the two uh, new edition shades. One is called... Okay, for a second there, I thought I picked up the same shade. But it's actually the shade is on the sides. So the first shade that I picked up is O04. The second shade is P04. So one is supposed to be pinky and the other one is orangey. So I'm going to swatch them both on both sides of my cheeks. And we'll see how it looks like. So I did pick up this special version. Like I said, the special version has like this printed um, wording at the front. Whereas if you picked a normal version, you only get the pink flash logo. Uh, as usual, they don't have the shade sticker at the packaging. So I recommend you guys to label your compact. So this is how it looks like inside with a heart embossed at the center. So I'm going to put them side by side before I swatch them. On my right here is P04 and on my left here is O04. So I'm going to use a different brush so that the color won't mix. The first shade I'm going to apply is the 0 or O04 on my left cheek. I'm going to use this brush, the Japanese blush brush. It picked up quite well on the brush. As you can see, it already adheres to the brush very very pigmented you guys i forgot how pigmented pink flash blushers are so this is what the shade 004 looks on my cheek honestly this shade looks more pinky than orangey so i'm gonna zoom you guys in so there so this shade uh, pulls more orange than pinky in my opinion so this is how the shade looks like and on the other side i'm gonna apply the p04 using different brush so it picks up quite well as well P04 okay this shade translated pinky like the name it's actually not much difference between these two shades if I don't uh, tell you guys you would think that I wear the same blusher on both sides but this one looks a bit more pigmented than the P01 but if you packed the shade P04 I think you will get the same effect or the same finish so right now I'm gonna set my face with the setting spray and we are going to try their new mascara okay I'm gonna swatch the shades on my palm so you can see the true color of these shades so the first shade is 004 on the finger it looks orangey but like I said, when I apply on my cheeks, it looks pinky. So this is the shade 004. It's like a salmony shade. So the next shade is the shade here, which is P04. I'm going to swatch it next to this. There's not much difference between them. This one, like I said, has a tiny hint of orange, whereas this one is pinky. But once you apply it on the cheeks, they looked very similar with each other. You barely see any difference. Okay, this is how the mascara packaging looks like. It's cute. It's actually tiny. It's not the same size as, as a regular mascara. And 
like always the information and everything is on the packaging itself and it's actually labeled with hashtag one i don't know if they have other shades on the cap it's actually translucent and written with the claims which is Anthony waterproof and micro brush mascara from the website this mascara claims to be waterproof and it says it has an oily formula also claims to have micro brush head with ultra thin fiber and also it says it's na it naturally curls the eyelashes I will not clump it and yeah long lasting um, easy to remove separates the lashes as well so basically everything you would dream the very tiny tiny applicator there so i can already see the microfiber sticking onto the brush i think the formula is similar to the newest focalor mascara so let's test this out and this type of brush is actually very nice for the lower lashes let me zoom you guys in a bit so this is my lashes is looking so far so i only put one coat meaning that i haven't dipped this brush into the tube yet so it gives you a very natural looking lashes it's not too made up i think this mascara is very nice for an everyday honestly i like it on my upper lashes but not so much on my lower lashes because the product itself doesn't want to stick to my lower lashes i like the wand and i think the wand is very nice for the lower lashes but it doesn't want to stick on there i have to really wiggle it many times for the product to stick on my lashes as i'm building the formula on my lashes because i like to my lashes to look thick as i'm blinking my eyes like this i can feel that some of the lashes are sticking together the upper lashes and the lower lashes okay you guys i have to open the light because it's actually getting dark outside so far i like everything so first thing that i've tried is eyebrow product surprisingly i like this brow product my first thought before trying this is that it will be waxy and it will be slippery and it will break easily actually not the formula is similar to my favorite which is this day genius eyebrow product but that one the formula is less pigmented than this one it's very very easy to do your brows with this even though the shape is a triangular shape and a bit chunky in my opinion but if you know how to control the product itself and if you have sparse eyebrow this product will help to fill in the brows quickly and to do the uh, full brow hairs at the front i think you have to really adjust this eyebrow product to a certain point i mean like you can just use the edge here or use the top but i think the top over time will be blunt and it will be not as pointy and you can just use the sides to do the full brow hairs and it is nice to have a spoolie at the end so that you can brush the product and also spread the product onto the brows and so the next thing that i've tried is actually the powder itself unfortunately I did not use this powder for my, my entire face because I accidentally set my face off camera with other powder which is actually from Pink Flash as well they are loose powder, the translucent one this one actually has the same effect you can use this lightly to set your face or like to have a light dusting on your face so you can use this as a buffing powder or something like that I will definitely use this powder again it's a blotting powder if I can blot the oil first and use this to set the areas where I feel like my face looked more oily so yeah the packaging is also nice and the size is also nice to bring around the powder feels nice and soft why not we do a flash test because some powder does give you flashback Okay, so far I don't have any flashback. Uh, I did use this powder on my under eyes and on the side of my cheeks here and also my forehead. And from the picture, I will insert a picture here. From the picture, I don't have any flashback at all, which is nice. So the next thing I've tried is these two blusher and I already liked the previous collection from Pink Flash. And the formula remains the same. The fit 
pigmentation remains the same and also the blend blendability as well even though it is o orange it does translate pink as you can see here to me it looks more salmony so it is a bit deceiving if you judge it just by the pen also just by hand swatch you have to apply it on cheeks to see the true color these blushes are very pigmented you guys so be like handful when you when you apply the product on your cheeks the last thing that i've tried in this video is this mascara this tiny cute mascara but this is the only thing that did not impress me that much it doesn't lengthen my eyebrow even though it claims to have fibers the formula is a bit sticky in my opinion even though it claims not to be sticky so if I blink my eyes it sticks together like now I can feel that every time I blink my eyes the lower and the upper lashes on the outer corner does stick together I actually like this type of one to give me a natural not too made up and the formula is just okay it doesn't uh, really thickens or even lengthens your eyelashes it just gives your eyelashes a little bit of something that's it about this mascara and I would definitely use this again and try it out more because sometimes my opinion does change in future if I try that product more they have the standard pink flash packaging which is plasticky and also child-like makeup and I think that's why they priced it very low because the packaging itself is from a cheap material and actually that's a good thing as well because it made affordable for everyone to try this product so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching until the end if you want to purchase the pro these products i will link to everything in my description box my makeup details today also will be in the description box i actually used everything from pink flash except for setting spray and the lips is actually from Focalor, the lip clay i mixed two colors if you haven't subscribed to my channel i appreciate if you can subscribe because i do a lot of makeup tutorial reviews hauls swatches and everything like that take care and i hope i see you guys in my next one bye assalamualaikum